Hey gamers, Stogie here and welcome to some PC gameplay of Insurgency. In this video we will be talking about the Infiltrate game mode that is available to play in Insurgency multiplayer and we're going to discuss exactly the ins and outs of this uh, game mode and maybe some strats that can help you do well in this game mode. So first of all, Infiltrate is basically like a one life capture the flag game. So like if you've played capture the flag games like in Call of Duty or even, even Battlefield, it's similar to that only it's round based and you only have one life so what that means is if you die you're dead you don't respawn um, there is a way to respawn in the game and that is if your friendlies capture or sorry collect the enemy intel or if your friendlies kill the enemy intel carrier so you can get a respawn that way but most most likely you're gonna have one life within a game maybe respawn once if you're lucky you can win this game mode in two ways you can either cap, go and collect the enemy intel and then return to your base to capture it. So just like capture the flag when you would capture a flag at a point and return it to your home base. Or you can kill, you can basically merc the entire enemy team. If you kill the entire enemy team uh, and you guys still have player standing, you will win that round. So the, the team that wins, I think it is three rounds or wins by three rounds wins. Uh, that's basically the way this goes. So one thing that I noticed when I played this game that I would like to see changed is the fact that after or between rounds, you don't switch sides. It would be really nice to see some side switching. What you're going to see in these three rounds you're watching me play and infiltrate is that, and here, right here, you can see me collecting the intel. Anyway, what you're going to see is I kind of take the same route. So it'd be nice for them to force you to mix up your route and uh, whatnot, and I, it would vary your gameplay a little bit, but one of the things I did notice in this game, uh, in this infiltrate game mode, is that most loadouts and rolls seem effective. So most of the gun uh, and class equipment setups that you can use seem pretty effective. The one thing that I would say is that before you start the round, decide what role you're going to play. So I would decide your play style and exactly how you're going to go about the round before the round starts. And in a second here, we're going to get talking about the different play styles. Um, but one thing you'll notice on the HUD, there's very, very little things on the HUD. And it's one of the things I love about this game. If you look down at the bottom center, you'll see the base icon, which is the blue square, and the intel icon, which is the enemy intel that's in the, the red diamond with the eye. On your screen, you'll, you will see those icon markers and that's about all you're going to see so it kind of shows you where the enemy intel is located and then in return it shows you where your base is located so you're going to want to know that at all times so you can kind of plan your route around that but moving on to various tactics that you may employ in this game mode i have basically three different mindsets that i'm looking at playing when i'm playing infiltrate the first is the rush mindset. So am i just going to straight out rush the enemy team hope i can get to certain points on the map before the enemy team and just take them all out basically wipe them all out so that's one way to play the the one downside of this is you have to know the map and the other downside is because you're rushing if you don't get to that point first it's likely you're going to get wiped out by the enemy team and it's going to be a quick abrupt round over for you another way you can play this and this isn't really my play style but it's all it's usually good to have a person on your team that plays this way that's the guard your home base so if the enemy is going to come capture your intel, they have to come to that home base to get it. So having one person stay back and guard that, usually like a support style, um, LMG style, is really good for that. That's that's another play style. And the third play style that I like to employ most of the time is the methodical movements throughout the map with the squad. So what I actually like to do is pair the first style rush with the third style methodical movements and I like to get to a certain point on the map stop slow down collect myself with my team and then I like to move methodically throughout the map and try and take out the en enemy teams while getting to the intel so that would probably be my number one recommendation for how you guys could play this game mode um, but let me know if you guys have any strats that I haven't mentioned in the in the comments below I personally um, really, really like this game mode. It's quick. It's kind of like an S and D type thing, but not really, uh, because you're not planning a bomb. You actually have to get to the location and then get back. So it's kind of cool because throughout the game mode, you'll see that the enemy team and your team can scatter out quite a bit, which makes it a little bit more intense. You need to check your corners and whatnot. Um, I do recommend when you get to points in the map where you know you could encounter an enemy team, take your time, take a breath, listen, listen for their steps, listen for maybe a call out or a reload. 
You can be very tactical with that, but right here, what you see is uh, I'm employing the rush tactic. I'm going straight at these guys. I'm trying to lock down my spot up on the stairs here, and it's going to go well for me. So you guys saw me capture the intel. You saw me wipe out the enemy team, and you may see me wipe out the enemy team one more time. Check in the description for your chance to win a code for this game on Steam, and thanks for watching, guys. I will talk to you later. Did you just go... That's pretty funny, man. That punk ass bitches! You just killed three of them to end the game. Yeah, it's going.